Hiya! So, as promised, I am going to be creating the glitter encapsulation nail for you as a single standalone tutorial because I missed it off the other video. But first, I'm creating an ombre nail for the base. So, this is Trilogy Vortex. It's sort of a purple, kind of looks like lilac to me, though, like, or a lavender colour. Um, a lavender coloured powder with glitter set into it, nice flecks of like silvery white glitter. And then I'm coming in with Moonlight, which is the silvery white that I used on the other set, and I'm going to pull that down over the top. Once that's set, I'm going to file it, but I am not going to cap it in clear because I don't need to because the gel that I'm going to use is going to do the same. So what I've got here, I've got my Trilogy Diamond Gel. I have a pot of gel residue wipe off solution because I don't have a pump dispenser and I have my glitter diamond shapes from Chintzy's Glitter. I have my gel brush and when I can find it, here we go, I have a crystal um, applicator. So the first thing that I'm doing, I'm applying a thin layer of the hard gel onto the nail as if it was a top coat. I'm going to tip some of these little shapes out onto my piece of kitchen roll and I'm going to start applying them. Now the thing is, they are concave and convex sides. One side is bent in, one side is bent out. So you want to use, when I can get it, the bent side. You want that to stick up, because otherwise it's not gonna sit flush to the nail. And I'm gonna pick them up one at a time, making sure that when I apply them, they are that bend is pointing up. And if it doesn't, then I am gonna, like this one, flip it over. But in really, it makes it easier if you just pat the uh, kitchen roll a little bit, and because that makes you uh, makes you makes the glitter move a little bit. Um, this one I can't turn over with the metal point of my crystal applicator, so I'm just going to grab a curette. There it is, and I'm just going to turn it over with that. I recommend using pointy tweezers for this actually, but I couldn't find them at that time. So then and apply them again. I'm pushing them into that gel. I want the gel to overlap the edges of the pieces of glitter. I'm just gonna move it down the nail. Now this is the beauty of the gel. I can keep working with this as much as I want to. I can keep moving them around, you know, making sure that they're in the position that I really want them to be in before I cure it in the lamp. Because it's just wonderful. But I'm making sure that I push them in as well so that I've got that edge to work with. Then it doesn't matter, you know, when you're moving it, it self levels. So if there seems to be like a big blob of it, it doesn't matter because by the time you come to cure it, it's gonna be uh, nice and smooth because it'll have self leveled. So I've just put a few in a row on and I'm just using the edge of that curette to just put them into position. And then when I'm happy, put them into the lamp for 60 seconds. Now, I am going to just use some gel residue wipe off solution in on the end of a brush and I am going to wipe off some of the wax residue left by the crystal picker uppery thing. And then I am going to apply some of the gel as a top coat but also incorporate some, uh, oh gosh, do you know it's really late when I'm doing this and my brain's not working? Uh, some of the apex in with it. So a big bead, a big blob, whatever you want to call it, on my brush, up around the cuticle area. I'm dragging it down over that glitter and I'm making sure that I don't take my brush off until I've run out of um, until I've run out of excess gel. Otherwise I'm gonna get loads of air bubbles in. And the gel moves the gel, 
So what you can see me sort of like wiggling back and forth, round and round, is I'm moving the gel in a specific way, really, to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> so it's very um, strange to explain. This is the first time I've really explained using gel, so I'm gonna be really explaining it quite badly. But you've got the gel and it has like a string to it when you pull it out of the pot. And you use that to work, move the other gel. So you've always got gel, touching gel. Otherwise you get loads of air bubbles in it. So I'm, my brush is quite flat and I'm using like those circular motions. Leaving it to self level a bit while I put all the lids on. And I've cured it. And I'm coming in and I'm wiping with some gel polish residue remover to get the sticky layer off. And I'm going to come in and file. Now the filing is easy because the uh, gel is soft so it doesn't take as long. It files quite simply and easily. And then when I finish filing, I will wipe it off with some more gel polish residue remover. Or for lack of a better word, isopropyl alcohol. But some people get a bit confused when you call it that. And then, when I'm happy, I can just top coat over the top, just to give it that extra shine, really, to be honest. So there it is. It's really, really simple, and it's really quick, and it gives you a lot of play time, and that's what it looks like when it's done. So that's the finished piece there. So thanks for watching, guys, and if you want to check out the full video for the other set, here is a link to the card. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks guys, bye bye.